What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Looking Trash Mouth, a.k.a. Mr. Run Up In Your Grandma's House To Take Your Grandma's Couch. And today, we got a video for you. This is my top five famous, favorite Christmas movies. And, um, yeah, let's get right into it. Show you who you buy. Boy, it's over fake, something like you buy. Boy, when you love, tell me when you die. Okay, so, this is a video that I'm gonna be doing right now, right now. So, um, top five favorite Christmas movies. We coming in with number five. Now, this is not between like better or worse. This is just my preference, my top five favorites. So, coming in number five, it's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That's number five right there. That's number five, the original, not the new one. I'm cool off the new one. The new one, bulky. Now, the reason why I like the original is because one, the original has a better storyline. And the original was an OG. The new one, he ain't doing it. Right? And the actor of the original was way better than the one now. That's all I'm saying. So, now we're about to get to number four. Number four is... Actually, I wouldn't consider this a movie. I consider it a short film. The Madagascar Christmas special. <laughs> Don't judge. It's just that, you know, I like Madagascar, and the Christmas special is freaking hilarious to me. Um, you know, seeing that, like, in that kind of, you know, format is pretty lit. Um, okay, number three is... Number three would be, hmm, number three. The Charlie Brown Christmas Special. I'm gonna tell you why. Because the Charlie Brown Christmas Special is such an original Christmas film that you have to watch it every year. If you don't watch it, then you ain't got no life. Okay? You might have to make sure you watch that every year. Because if you don't, you dokey. And um, a Charlie Brown is a is a family film. Like you gotta watch it. And if you don't, that's very sad. Number two, we got um. Snow Buddies. Now, don't get me on this. I don't like pets, but Snow Buddies is my is one of my favorite Christmas movies because it's dogs and it's and they help Santa. Like you don't see that every day. Of course, you got Santa's little helper from Simpsons. Yeah, that's cool and all, but I mean, like you don't have a Christmas movie about dogs helping Santa. I don't think we're not gonna talk about that. And number one is my. Home, original, favorite, my down-to-earth number one favorite is Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. I don't care what nobody says. That movie is fire. Like, I watched it every year since I was a young boy. So, it's lit. I don't care what you say. It's fire. So, I don't care. Um, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer on Cartoon Network. It used to come on like around 6 o'clock in the morning during December. Um, if y'all stop showing it, y'all need to bring it back. Because that movie is fire. That movie has been in my life for a while. And, you know, and they were gonna... So let me let me, let me me give you a little inference about what Grandma Got Run Over by Reindeer is about. So, it starts off in a, um, in a setting, I guess, of a shop, kind of? Yeah, I think it's like a toy shop. And then, like, the grandma and, like, the whole family is in the house, you know, kicking it. She has some eggnog. You know that eggnog has some stuff up in it. So, she tried to go take some cake to some people or some neighbors or something. So then, the, ran the reindeer smelled the, uh, smelled the fruit cake. So, they attacked her for that fruit cake. And she passed out. So, she loses her memory. She loses everything. But the cousin, cousin Mel, you know that one petty cousin that one nobody to succeed. Yeah, she gonna try to get the grandma to sell the business to her. No! So, after that, um, okay, so between that time, okay, so she doesn't want to sell the business. That's her business. She doesn't know that. So, cousin Mel gave the, uh, put reindeer essence or something in the fruitcake. And it made the reindeer go, you know, 
crazy. So they that's why they attacked the grandma, and that's why they ate the fruitcake. And then they were gonna try to sue Santa Claus. Yes, they tried to sue Santa. He had the reindeer. And I just realized my video cut out, but it's okay though. It's okay though, because guess what? We got ourselves a bonus. Bonus. We got ourselves a bonus. 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 Movie for y'all. Okay, so check this out. So, the bonus movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, that movie is freaking legendary. Like, that movie is lit. Okay? Now, the reason why I like this movie is because, one, good uh, voice actors. Two, characters are just cool. Like, I like how, I like their design. I like, it has, like, a super old feel because that movie is old as dirt. But, besides the point, um, I like it because storyline and how... Jack the Pumpkin King wants to be the King of Christmas or something like that. And he kidnapped Santa Claus. And I got something to ask. Why does everybody got beef with Santa? Why does everybody want to kidnap Santa for no reason? Y'all treat this man so wrong. So what if he break into your house? So what if he fills your socks up with treats? So what if he, you know... I don't know. I don't know what this Kringle does. But all I know is... I don't understand the fact how... This man could go through a chimney. Push, 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 push. Santa's stuck up in the chimney. Yeah. And he bigger than me. Push, 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 push. Santa's stuck up in the chimney. Yeah. Come on now, let's be real. This man is going through chimneys. He ain't even going through the door. He ain't even going through the windows, you know. I don't understand. This man Santa Claus is doing the most. This man is going through chimneys. That is stuck up in the chimneys. I guess that's why everybody want to kidnap him, folks, because he keep going through people's chimneys. Stuck up in the chimneys. You don't ask? You don't see no welcome mat in front of somebody's chimney? That is stuck up in the chimneys. No! You don't even see it up on the roof. Oh, come here, Santa. You're all welcome. No, you don't see that. But it's okay, because it's the most wonderful time of the year. Dumbass motherfucker. Wanna Sprite Cranberry? Wanna Sprite Cranberry? Nah, no, I'm just kidding. But, um, real talk though, like, this man is a home invader. But it's all cool though. It's okay, because guess what? Santa Claus is lit, okay? You don't see no random person. Sneaking into your chimney? Uh, stuck up in the chimney. That's not a good thing if you do. If you do, that's not good. But um yeah. Uh <laughs> I came to a standstill. But another bonus movie is Frosty the Snowman. Now, th that movie is depressing, okay? That's one of the most depressing, like, Christmas movies I've ever seen. This man melts and dies. And these kids are all hyped about him, and then he mess around and die because he's too hot. That's sad. That's, that's, that's literal depression, okay? Now, I had my time with Frosty, okay? Frosty is okay. He okay, but that, they need to remake that one and leave the Grinch alone, okay? Because the Grinch is lit. I ain't talking about the new one. I'm talking about the old one. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for witnessing my outbreak of mental breakdowns. And, um, yeah, we got more videos on the way. Um, found my tripod, as y'all can see, but I broke it before I made the video. So, that's fantastic. So, see you guys in the next video. Peace!